Hello everyone. So in today's class, we are going to start a new topic, which is make to order. So in the previous sessions, we have discussed about make to stock scenarios, which are further divided into two parts. One is product cost by period and second one is product cost by order. So now we are going to start a new topic, which is sale order costing or make to order. So this process is initially driven from the sale order. So initially, first we are going to receive the sale order from the customer. Let's say in the industries of um, car manufacturing or the aeroplane manufacturing, what we are going to do initially, we are going to receive the sale order from customer and the customer specify that he is going to have some customized products. So instead of making the products and store them in our warehouses, we are going to make the customized products for the customers. So first the sale order will be received from the customer and after that we are going to start the manufacturing. So it is not like the FMCGs, like they are going to produce the goods and they are going to store the goods in their warehouses. So we are more focused on the customer satisfaction. So sale order costing is basically divided into three parts first one is when sale order is not a cost object but stock is a valuated stock and second one is sale order is a cost object and stock is a valuated stock and second one is when sale order is a cost object but stock is not valuated stock so in the first scenario it is basically resembles with the make to stock scenario so in the make to stock we have seen that our product production order or process order or product cost collector is a cost object so sale order is not a cost object so it is seems it seems like that production process so basically we are going to use this process in the industries where the industry or the client is more focused on the production process so they are not more focused on the sales expenses and on the sales activity, but they are more focused on the production process. So for that scenarios, we are going to use the sale order with non cost object and the stock is a valuated stock. So in this production environment, the production environment is not complex. Let's say uh, we are just manufacturing the simple goods and we are not more focused on the customization of the products. So industry is more focused on production activity than sales activity and period and processing is performed at production order level and sale order is a statistical object and all the production cost will be posted on the production order. So plans and actual values will not get updated on the sales order. Instead of sale order, they are going to get updated on the production order. So it seems like the product cost by order or product cost by period. So it is basically resembles the make to stock process. And second one is when sale order is a cost object. And in this is used in the production environments when we are going to make the customized products for the customers. And the client is more focused on the sales expenses let's say uh, we are working in a car manufacturing industry and the customer is going to give us the customizations for the car let's say he is going to uh, requesting us to manufacture the car as per his requirement so after receiving the sale order we are going to do the production and after in some cases we are going to create the customized bombs for that customer as well so it is used in the industry with complex or customer specific production environment and client will have higher additional sales expenses and it is in this scenario production cost will be tracked from production order and sales expenses will be tracked from the sale order so let's come to the third process so it is used it is a it is when the sale order is a cost object and goods are not valued 
so it in this scenario financial document is not posted during goods movement only the stock accounts will get updated and production variances will not calculated and sale order represents without any value so because we have our stock is not evaluated stock so we have covered the types of the production processes so now let's come to the master data so this is basically item the first one is item category so this is the configuration object related to sales and distribution module so when we are going to input any item or material so that is the item so behind the item we are going to assign the item category so basically the item category controls the parameters like that product is relevant for billing or delivery so we are going to maintain these settings in the item category so next one is requirement class so requirement class controls the costing parameters like it is the costing is required costing is stimulated and costing is allowed or not so we are going to further discuss and create the requirement class item categories as well so next one is costing id so costing id controls whether a sales order cost estimate is automatically costed or automatically costed and marked so basically when we are going to do the cost estimation so we are going to do the marking and releasing the cost as well so basically costing id controls this so we are going to do the create the costing ids as well during the configuration process so next one is costing method so basically costing methods controls that cost estimate is created using unit costing or product costing let's say we have also created the costing methods in the previous videos as well so we will create this in the configuration videos so let's come to the next so next one is result analysis key so we have also created the result analysis key in the make to stock production environment configurations but that is used for the work in progress calculation but the result analysis key used in sale order costing as well and it controls the calculation of cost of sales or revenue for partially processed sale order and we can analyze plan and actual cost and revenue for the sale order level so basically first we are going to determine the percentage of completion and after that we are going to calculate the actual cost and actual revenues so base so percentage of completion calculation are have two basic methods one is cost based percentage of completion and second one is revenue based completion so in the cost based percentage of completion what we are going to do we are going to check out that how much will be our plan total cost and how much cost is consumed till now and after that we are going to calculate the percentage of completion let's say our total plan cost is 100 rupees but we have just consumed 30 rupees so our percentage of completion for this sale order is 30 percent so by this method we are going to check out how much percentage of completion for this sale order have and the revenue based what we are going to do we are going to create the sale order and sale order is let's suppose for the 100 rupees and we have just received 20 rupees from the customer so our percentage of completion will be 20 percent so this is how we are going to check out how much percentage of completion this sale order has covered till now so after that we are going to check out and analyze the plan and actual cost and revenues so this is how we are going to do the configuration of make to order so this is all about the introduction video so 
in the next videos we are going to cover the configuration process and period production process as well and period and activities so this is all about the introduction thank you for watching this video